Wow, I can't believe it's the first day of school already. I know, I'm so nervous for a new year. New year, new me. So are you, are you and Chase still dating? No, honey. I wasn't gonna have a single summer. Let's just say that. <laughs> and the principal is my dad, so we can do whatever we want. <laughs> Screw them all. Okay, should we go to math class? Yeah, let's go. <sighs> Hello, my name is Jacob. And my name is Lucas. And today's the first day of school. Back to school 2021 edition. <laughs> it's been three years since I've gone back to school shopping. How many years for you, fella? <laughs> 10. So today we're gonna see what it's like going to back to school shopping in 2021. Is it so different? Is it the same? Oh, I forgot that we're actually in school. I know. It's a weird being back in third grade. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. One fact, <laughs> one fun fact, <laughs> one fun fact about me. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I stutter when I get nervous. <laughs> one fun fact about me <laughs> is that I like my mom more than my dad. What? Because she lets me have as many cookies as I want. <laughs> wow, you would. You would. <laughs> um, one fun fact about me is my uncle- Don't tack over the teacher. That's me, Lucas. I thought it was my turn. Now it's your turn. Oh, sorry, miss. One fun fact about me is my uncle um, was addicted to meth when he was in his 20s. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just learned about that this summer. <laughs> What's that? I just learned that like that was a thing that he went through. But he's better now. <laughs> That's good. Oh. High five for your uncle. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but I'm good, glad he's not doing that anymore. Oh, yay, it's my oh, yeah, I got it. Nice. First back to school shopping destination was Target. When we were younger, we actually never went back to school shopping at Target because there was only a Walmart oh, yeah. in our town. We That's didn't have a weird. Target, yeah, we only had Walmart. When I was in fifth grade, I went back to school shopping at Target, but other than that, I no. never gotta go back to school shopping at Target. You're a country boy at heart. Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights <laughs> down low. We just were walking through Target. I was excited to get to the back to school section. Yeah, I was excited too. And then I walked on a baby. Lucas. We both actually stepped on a baby accidentally. And we were like, oh my God, LOL, so sorry. <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> Target is trying to tease you. You have to walk all the way to the back to get to the back to school shopping section. Yeah, and they have like a whole display set up. There's a bunch of colors. They do kind of make it a moment. Yeah, it's really themed. It feels like mm. I'm in one of those beauty guru videos. Yeah. Everything is saturated to the max. Yeah, I know. Throughout this video, we were kind of trying to find things that weren't in the back to school section like a few years ago that are new. Like, oh my yeah. gosh, we didn't know this was a thing. But so far, it's out the original stuff, like Elmo's glue. Yeah, glue sticks that drag queens use to glue on their eyebrows. Honestly, do you think that's the main demographic yeah, now? They it might be the kids. They might be yeah, the ones giving Elmer's the most money. Elmo's glue, you're slaying because of the drag queens. And yeah, just your usual Crayola shit. I love Crayola, but when is someone gonna take them over? I, I know. know for years, Crazy Out has been climbing, trying to beat is the industry. Is that not Crayola? 
No, you know the other like side brand that is Yeah, isn't I've seen cool? Crazy Art, but that's different? Yeah, it's a different brand. Oh my god, yeah, somebody needs to overtake them. They're getting a little bit too comfortable. Because I just think Crayola needs to elevate. Yeah, they're getting lazy because they just have the whole entire industry monopolized. It's time for someone to steal their throne. Crazy Art, we're rooting for you. Ooh, look at Target making their own version of Crayola, which is significantly cheaper. Like, damn, for the exact same product, you get it for a fraction of the price of Crayola. They might be the ones to steal Crayola, Crayola's business. I know, how do they make it so much cheaper? We just went full though into the back to school section and we saw the coolest markers on the market. The ones that have smelly stuff in them. They had color pencils that were smelly. Oh yeah, I didn't, this wasn't a thing when I was growing up. They always told us not to smell markers. Now you're supposed to. Wait, they didn't have these? I don't, maybe they did, but I swear everyone always said do not sniff markers because it gets you baked. Oh yeah, it gets you up in the sky. I know, high. loony. But now they're just, they're encouraging kids to smell the markers. Keep watching the video if you want to see us kids smell the markers. That would be later in the video. Stay tuned. Then for like the next five minutes, we just kept seeing the stuff that we already knew was in the back to school section, like Shelpies, notebooks, binders, highlighters, all of that basic stuff. I wanted to see something new. My thirst wasn't quite quenched. It's inspirational stuff like this. They're shoving down the new generation's throat that's ruining the world. Everyone walking around thinking they're worth something. Thinking they're special, that their life means something? God damn it. Stop. Go back into the hole you crawled out of. And I'm talking about your mama's JJ. <laughs> Honestly, congratulations. Lisa Frank is still pulling in the bag each year. I'm glad that she's still making money. It hasn't ended, no, which I'm happy for. She's been in her bag since the 90s, and she hasn't gotten her hand out of the bag yet. She just keeps taking the money, and every year I root for her. That actually looks cool. I love the colors. I know, psychedelic vibes. It felt like I was at Boning Man. I've never been, but that's what I picture, to be like. I love the aesthetic. The iconic notebooks that every artistic person has used. These are only for artistic people. I don't even know what that design is on the on the notebooks, but I want a room that has that design yeah. in other ones. That'd be sick. And also, like Jacob said while we were shopping, this reminds me so much of Ned's The Classified School Survival Guide. I think in the intro. I think Nud always had one with him. Was yeah, like, it was a like product placement. What even was that show about? I think just literally him at school, like doing that. I used to love that show. Though. I know. Super Mario, this glam life goal. Jojo Siwa and this girl on a horse are the new, are the new popular people to have on your school or something. Yeah, we wanted to see what was in with the kids, and yeah, these are. This is it. This is a Disney movie, right? Uh, I really want to know. It is a Disney movie, but I don't know which one. Also, like Mario still relevant after many decades. Who's this girl though? She is sassy. The thing about this girl is that we all have seen her. She's part of this LOL collection, but how do I know who she, like she's not a real Wait, person, but is that Bratz? No, it's part of like this LOL She looks blade. just like a brat though. I love how she got her nose done. Like she has no nose. <laughs> <laughs> there was this section for book covers and then I found a book cover that was astrology themed and I honestly just thought that was so funny because <laughs> it's just funny thinking about being in third grade and being like, what sign are you? Wait, if we start dating, will we be in fights? Okay, so Pisces and Capricorn. Like, okay, so our interest, <laughs> our intim, Intimacy? Inti yeah. Intimacy? How yeah, that's what you say it. it. No, Intimacy. it isn't. Intimacy. Oh, intimacy. Levels are like a 2%, so I don't know if we're gonna like make it. I know, it. basing all their friendships off of it, everything. But honestly, I'm here for it. I wish I could like, like I wanna see a video of someone using this in class. Is I basically know. What I'm you, saying. you know all third graders like based their whole life on astrology in 2021. You get your math test back and you got a D on it? It's probably because the planets aren't aligned, Oh right? yeah, you could blame everything on that. That make everything so much easier. <laughs> trying to bite me. <laughs> this is scary. No, but actually, I just don't like school supplies that's themed as animals. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Okay, so this is a pencil holder or whatever you want to call it. But to me, I honestly thought it was a bee. Holder. Like, why does it look like that? You know that that's what they use it for. Like, it says pencil holder, but in really small writing, it says, like, we'll hold your beep. Wow. 
This was not around when I was a kid. They have pencil boxes that expand and also get smaller. When did they create this technology? The government needs to start inv investing in witchcraft more because I think this is part of witchcraft. So we need to start giving money to witchcraft people so then they can invent more stuff like this. Yeah, because obviously that isn't. That is something that, like, I it's don't know. It's anti-Christ, but I like it. Yeah, it's very dark energy. Like, how does it do that? Just a little throwback. Remember these pencil boxes? If you were really cool, you had these big ones. And you, oh, like, yeah. loaded that up with, like, Malcos, everything. Which, really, like, why would you ever need that many? It's almost just hoarding at that point. Those kids grew up to, like, just, like, be bad. I agree. Next up is Wham Out. This video is all about comparing and contrasting. We really wanted to put the two goalie pops against each other. Not that everything has to be a fight, but today I guess it's in fight mode even though I want to spread positivity, but I guess I'm not today. We were walking into Wamo and honestly, we didn't see the back to school section. I was like, where's the back to school section? But then we realized that we were literally walking past it. Yeah. And my one complaint is, is that at Target, they had it all themed back to school. But at Wamo, they, it didn't really like have like signs that said back to yeah. school. Yeah, there was no theme. There was no aesthetic. There was no world they were building. It was just aisles. But with that being said, we also decided that a pro is they have a way bigger variety. Oh, they, they had, had way like, more aisles. Yeah, they had like portable chargers and like all this other random stuff that probably isn't needed, but they have. It. Yeah, and also we didn't compare prices. So we don't know for a fact, but I'm just gonna assume everything's cheaper there. Yeah, I'm assuming everything's like on yeah. average 10 cents cheaper. Yeah, we didn't you, do any checking, but I'm, I'm sure. guessing, you know? Yeah, it's cheaper there. I have good intuition. Um, today I'm feeling kind of uh, silly. What about you, Lucas? Um, I'm feeling kind of curious. Just to let you guys know, I have one of these in my room. Every day I wake up, I close my eyes, spin in circles, and I um, put my finger on one. And whatever one I put my finger on, I'm that today. For instance, if I come to your house one day and, I, and I'm mad, it's not because I want to be mad, it's because I chose mad and... I feel like I should express that, you know? Oh yeah, you gotta choose your own emotions. So and not, you have to choose negative ones sometimes to let it out of your body. Yeah, you you know, you have to have the downs to have the ups. Yeah. I just was browsing the back to school section, maybe gonna buy something to try out. And then I found that they had fiber gummies. And I did some Googling once I got back home and I guess they have fiber gummies in the back to school section because 99% of people are constipated. Constipation is on the rise each year. Everyone's clogged. And it's not actually because what we eat. I guess it's because, just because they said. Like there's no reason, yeah. just because, because. I guess that's now on people's back to school list. Another different thing about 2021 back to school shopping is I guess blenders are a thing. Like everyone will have a blender in their backpack, I guess. Because everyone wants to make these healthy smoothies with all these seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds to also aid the constipation. Because everyone's just so clogged that they have to only drink smoothies because their body is just clogged to the brim. Wamo was so inspirational, even to me as a 20 year old. I'm not a kid anymore, but I just thought these notebooks and everything is so inspirational. I'm so glad that these kids have inspiration. When I was a kid, I didn't have motivation, but I'm glad that kids do nowadays. I guess the store Justice has a collab with Walmart and their stuff is chic. You don't want to get a basic notebook. Like some of your notebooks can be basic, but you want to have those notebooks that show your personality as well. Also, one of the notebooks was themed as that one wall in LA that has oh, house all over it. Yeah. So I like that. Pretty creative, iconic. Cool kids use Justice back to school. This isn't an ad though. I just found this out, but I'm pretty sure Wama has like a DJ now because they were playing like good bops. And at one moment, someone went over the intercom and said like something about music. I forgot yeah, they what they like, said. Yeah, they were like, okay, the next one up is gonna be this. Say So by Doja Cat was playing and like we were getting down. Yeah, it was a party in there. <laughs> People were like intoxicated. 
They actually like make you do three shots before you walk in. I know. Ridiculous. It's like, I don't want to get drunk, but I guess I will. <laughs> so I'm just guessing we missed a whole section of the Target back to school because why didn't we see backpacks at Target? We must have missed that part. Uh, somehow we didn't see, yeah, we didn't see a single backpack at Target. But the Walmart backpacks were on point. There's a fuzzy one, like some just plain ones, see-through ones. There was one that was 3D. I'm gonna have to give the backpack section at Walmart an A++. I didn't know this, but Crayola now has colors of kindness clans, metallic clans, neon clans, confetti clans. I take back what I said. They actually are innovative. So yeah, I'm sorry for what I said like a few minutes back. I still hate the Crayola family though. They think they're better than everyone. Put in the comments, what is the coolest pencil box? I'm voting for the Super Mario one. I'm gonna vote for the black one. Chic, timeless, classic. I like how it's matte. Something that should be noted is that Walmart didn't have off-brand school supplies. They didn't have like great value clans. So I just wanted to put that into the universe. I don't know what that means. I don't know, but that is interesting. Last but not least on this back to school shopping expedition, we went to Office Depot. And the reason why I went to Office Depot was because I wanted to see what was up. Was it more expensive? Did they have more variety? I had a lot of questions that needed to be answered. I didn't even know people went back to school shopping here. Immediately, I realized in Home Depot that it was like a whole different vibe. Everything was so organized. Basically, if you wanted one very specific item for back to school, they had it. I didn't do like research, but the prices looked the same. Like there was almost glue that was like $129, probably yeah. the same amount as like Target. It's just a whole different vibe in Office Depot. Like I probably wouldn't recommend it if you have kids that are like eight and under, 10 and under because they want to have the fun Walmart Target experience but like once you're over 10 and want like a prim and proper like no bullshit back to school shopping it was perfect nobody was there it was so organized it seemed very professional I feel like yeah. the future the future business leaders of the world go back to school shopping now. Yeah, yeah for sure these are really cool though they remind me of a mean secretary for example I would go to the school office Hey, my mom is picking me up because I have to go to the doctor. Okay, you should have told me earlier, you dumbass kid with a... I don't know. Yeah, those pens like really let people know like, okay, like... I'm a boss bitch, business please. Yeah. Remind your girl that she needs me. Just wanted to give some homage to these pizza erasers. They're cute. This video isn't a health and wellness video and I never want to force my opinions onto you guys just to let everyone know. But I do go everywhere barefoot now because it makes you more connected with the soil, with the earth. Basically, it makes me feel like a bottle person going barefoot everywhere. So I did go to Walmart Target and Office Depot barefoot. And it made me, f and I feel great and I have so much energy. I haven't had caffeine for like years and I feel perfect. There's definitely something that happens when your feet touch nature, like the inside of a Walmart, you know? We've evolved to a point where walking into Walmart releases the same chemicals in our body that it used to release walking into a jungle. Yeah. Oh, well back from back to school oh. or something. I'm sweaty. Damn. So I bought stuff from Target and Wama, Office Depot, there wasn't anything worth buying. Yeah, it was just same old, same old. Ooh, smell test? <gasps> oh yeah, it's some Silly Sense colored pencils. Oh yeah, I wanna eat them. Whoever made that out needs to get upgrades. I wanna eat them. Like that muffin looks good. <gasps> oh my God, guess what the smell is? <gasps> oh yeah, <Hey. laughs> I'm just guessing it's green apple. Oh yeah, could you actually smell that? You smell it, the scent isn't that strong. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Blueberry? Oh, it's licorice. Oh. <laughs> I think we're doing jugs. Let me do it again. Strawberry? 
Cotton candy. Oh, yeah, the cotton all just smell the same to be honest. Can I smell them? They all smell the exact same. I like these colored pencils, but the thing about it is that the Malkos are way more scented. Let's see if this smells like chocolate. I guess kind of. Wait. Oh, uh, I can kind of smell it actually. Is this gonna make us like hallucinate? I was mad because they had stinky and sweet ones and Jacob didn't want to buy it. Oh, because I already bought these and I thought, Yeah, I know. The people watching, you watching, might think it's a little too much and I don't want to annoy you. By the way, I spent $21 at Target, if you guys are wondering. Oh, we got this LOL cute but fierce um, notebook and I have to say like, she looks badass. Wait, and, what's like, it say? <gasps> BBs run the world. All I have to say is that I am here for this brand. I know, I love it. I love the colors. It smells delicious. <gasps> oh, this is a planner, I think. And yeah. it has a try me button and I haven't pressed it because obviously the only way you can try me is if you buy it. So let's try her. Or him. I got him. Yeah. Shut up! That's actually cool. Wait, how much was this? It had to be like 30, right? Oh, it was $80. No, it was $8. <laughs> I'm surprised they actually allow this in school. What do you think? They're like, it's just crafting for learning. <laughs> yeah, um, I could see you getting this for your kid and the teacher makes you bring it back home. Yeah, they say, yeah, it's just distracting to the other kids. Also, like, I've never been the type of bitch to use a planner. I respect people who do, like, go off Emma Chamberlain for inventing a planner, but I just don't get it personally. I'm sorry, but if you're in elementary school and you have a planner, you're being a little too extra for me. Yeah, it's like, use your phone. Is this even a planner though? Like, if there's not even days on it. So like, what is it? I think it is a planner. It was in the planner section. Oh wait, what? Oh, light up journal. It's a journal. Oh. I am definitely gonna use this journal to like, write all my deepest secrets. Okay, see. There was a lot of wet ones, Germex type cleaning supplies in the back to school. And you might think, oh, it's because of pandemic. I think it might just be because kids are just gross. They should have had this in the back to school section from day one. I'm not even joking to like support your claim, but I remember being in high school or middle school and there was legit, it looked like a bug on one of my um, dust. Yeah, and you know, people are pooping, not washing their hands. It's just a one big poop factory. Sick, disgusting cesspool. Honestly, I'd be too lazy to do this every class period, but if you want to, yeah. you could. It is cute. I'm actually gonna clean my palm. Nice, that's cool, Lucas. They smell good, I love that scent. It is not really a scent, Ooh, but like It smells like um, diapers in a good way. Oh, Shelpies, we got this because- um, Highlighters though. Oh, highlighters because um, we're gonna have a contest to see who can do the most color, like the most neat notes. You know those people that are kind of annoying in school that, if you do this, you're not annoying, but I just called you annoying. But you know like people that write notes, but they're so pretty, like, perfect. Cute and fun to use them, add some neon to your notebook, but taking notes and highlighting things, I've never been that type of bitch. Well, we're gonna become that type of bitch. I'm excited to compete in the challenge. Now on to what I bought from Walmart. You didn't really buy anything from here. I spent... Like two bucks, right? Yeah, three bucks. So I got some mechanical pencil... Pencils. Can we talk about the the refills for mechanical pencils? Or something is iconic about that. They remind me of jugs. <laughs> I'm saying, why do they? Maybe because movies or something depict jugs as like little capsules. Oh, I know. They're like they have a cool vibe. I remember being embarrassed of having an actual pencil. Oh yeah, because that's just like gross. I know. It's like wait, you don't use mechanical? I love when they have this little like thumb thing to make it more comfortable. And you get to click on it to get the lead oh. out. Okay, look at this. This is some ASMR stuff. Oh, it just keeps getting longer. You know how to put it back in, right? <laughs> you just press it down, right? Oh, I thought I was gonna like teach, but. One of the most annoying things is erasing. Oh yeah, and most of the time the eraser doesn't fully go away and it triggers Yeah, it. and it can even like rip the paper sometimes. 
Oh, the last thing I got was, I didn't know this was a thing. It's safety scissors, safe for plastic blades, spring action, easy to use. Should we try cutting each other's fingers off and see if they actually are safe? Basically, yeah, basically to be annoying, I want to see if these are actually safe. Okay, first of all, to see if they can cut paper. Wait, this didn't cut anything. Jacob. Wait, it's try- It's just crunching it. Try cutting notebook paper. Oh, it can do no paper. Oh, okay, so it's worth it. Can your finger? Oh no, I'm actually gonna scared. But don't do it too loud. Ow! Oh, it actually kinda hot. These are a good invention for like, if your kid's like so dumb, they might cut themselves and they're like 14. Yeah, um, I actually am not gonna hate on these. They are 100% safer than actual scissors. They walk on paper. And like, if you accidentally <laughs> touched your arm, they don't cut you. Oh, can it cut through cardboard? <gasps> okay. Shut up! These scissors are becoming one of my favorite but, items of 2021. Can I cut through these safety things? Uh, nope. Oh. Is it gonna protect people from cutting their hair off? Oh, it doesn't cut out hair. I'm so glad because I don't want my, this is my real hair, so I don't want it to get cut off. This was everything we got from back, for back to school shopping. And now, the finale of this video. The thing you've all been waiting for. We're gonna see who can do the best color coordinated notes. How to make yourself poop. We're gonna read this article, write some notes, and um, make it all cute and fun. Can you use color pencils? Oh yeah, you can use everything. Oh, okay. Nothing's off limits. You can't say I cheated. <laughs> I think I'm done. Wait. That actually looks great. Okay, these scissors just don't work. Okay. As you can see from mine, like, I'm not trying to... <laughs> <laughs> what? I like how you did drawing. Drawing. Yeah, there's poop all over, first of all. I actually didn't even look at the article. I just made up my own stuff. Oh, so you wouldn't get a good grade in this class. No, because like butthole with poop stuck in it equals constipation. <laughs> and then each letter of constipation I did with a different color. And then ask is can get clogged with massive amounts of doo-doo and shit. <laughs> okay, what am I? So like, <laughs> what was your coding with your highlighting? Was there no There actually theme? wasn't a rhyme or reason. You wouldn't have to read the whole sentence. You, you say ass is clogged, massive amounts of shit, doo-doo shit. You would actually get it, you know? Yeah. Honestly, I think this looks like so cute. I, I do like how it looks so colorful and, and yeah. lightening. With mine, I kind of had it organized. I put a yellow line at the beginning of each note. Oh, so you knew that was each key fact. Then I also used a colored pencil for another dash, just in case I forgot. Oh. Then I highlighted out of the keywords in pink. Well, underlined them, I mean. And then I used the blue Sharpie to do the end of each note. A few other things to just Give the people some light so I feel inspired to study. Constipation also makes shitting hard to do, lol. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you have to add some humor into it. <laughs> then I also tried to cut my paper to add a design, but these scissors, um, it turns out suck. Bowed suck. Yeah, I would say yours probably wins. Like the actual note taking. But I guess like even that, like the underlining, like shit shitting, toilet constipation, like I feel like it doesn't tell me anything from looking at it. Oh, so what's I think- what's the point what, of that being underlined? Well, because that's what the whole article is about. Constipation is basically the shitting, so. But if you read my highlights, you would actually know what it means. Butthole poop constipation. <laughs> okay, we need to stop with this morning. <laughs> I feel like yours is better than mine, but I would say that back to school shopping in 2021 is basically the same as back to school yeah. shopping even 10 years ago. Literally nothing's changed. Like even the designs and all the packages are the exact same as like when I was a kid. If you're a parent watching, hopefully this gave you some inspo. If you're a kid watching, hopefully you gave, well, hopefully you're not like a really young kid, but if you're like a, a teen watching, hopefully this gave you some inspo. Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. You can subscribe to both of us. And goodbye. Bye.